Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, Infinity Math. Have you ever wondered how to quickly estimate the square roots of the numbers like 17, 45, say 82 without a calculator? In this video, I'll show you an easy method to find square roots of non-perfect squares in just seconds. So grab a pen, follow along, and let's master this together. And don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe for more math hacks. Let's get started. Let's see how we find square roots of non-perfect squares instantly. Say we are finding square root of the number 17. You all know that 17 is a non-perfect square. 25 is a perfect square because that is 5 squared. 16 is a perfect square because that is 4 squared. But 17 is a non-perfect square. Now let's see how we find square root of 17 since that's not a perfect square. So to find square root of 17, what we do is we see what are the nearest perfect squares to 17. Let's write down the perfect squares nearest to 17. So 4 squared, which would be 16 and then 5 squared, which is 25. So now you look at these two perfect squares. Which one do you think is the nearest perfect square to 17? Yes, 16 is the nearest perfect square to 17. Right? So what is the square root of 16? Yes, it's 4. So you write that 4 here plus you get a fraction here, 4 plus a fraction, a decimal. So to find that fraction, the next step you're going to do is you take number 17, since we are finding square root of 17, take the same number and then you do minus 16 because that's the nearest perfect square. Now what is the answer? So it's going to be 1. So that becomes the numerator of the fraction. So 1 goes here, divided by, let's see what is the denominator. To find that, we do twice, 2 times of number 4, because 4 is the square root of 16. So 2 times of 4, you get 8. Now this becomes the denominator. So you write 8 here, 4 plus 1 over 8. And now let's calculate what is the value. So let's write 4 and let's see what is 1 over 8. So 1 over 8 is 0 0.125. And now you add, then you get square root of the number 17 equals 4 plus 0 0.25. That's going to be 4.125. And when, it, when I round it to say one decimal so I get what so when I round it to one decimal so the square root of 17 would be 4.1 right so 4.1 is the square root of the number 17 so this is the way to find square root of a non-perfect square now let's do the next question Say we are finding square root of, say, 41. So let's see what is the square root of the number 41. You know that 41 is also not a perfect square. So let's see what are the perfect squares nearest to 41. Let's write down them. So let's see 6 squared, which is 36. That's nearest to 41. Let's see the next perfect square, 7 squared, which is 49. So you see that which one is the nearest perfect square to 41? Is 36 or 49? Yes, 36, right? So 36 is the nearest perfect square to number 41. So what is the square root of 36? Yes, that is 6. So you write 6 here. Plus 
now you write a fraction so how do I get the numerator and denominator yes we do first step is we are finding square root of 41 so you write 41 minus the nearest perfect square is 36 so 41 minus 36 so what is the answer it's 5 right so that is the numerator of the fraction so phi goes here divide by let's see what is the denominator to find that you do twice two times of the square root of 36 which is 6 2 times of 6 now 2 times of 6 will give you 12 now that becomes the denominator so 12 is the denominator so 12 goes here 6 plus 5 over 12 now let's simplify this you get 6 plus 5 over 12 and the decimal value is 0 0.41 so what is the square root of number 41 so square root of number 41 equals 6.41 and when I round it to one decimal yes that should be square root of 41 equals 6.4 right so that's the square root of the number 41 all right let's do another question say we are finding square root of the number 48 so you know that 48 is also not a perfect square let's see how we find square root of this again what is the first step yes we should see what are the perfect squares nearest to 48 so let's see them now let's write down the perfect squares nearest to 48 so you can see that let's write down say 6 squared that is 36 and let's see the next one which is 7 squared which is 49 so which one is the perfect square nearest to 48 yes it's 49 correct this is the perfect square nearest to 48 and now what is the square root of 49 yes it's 7 so you write 7 here plus you should get a fraction all right so to get the fraction what is the first step yes you take the number whichever number you're finding square root you take the same number 48 here minus what is the perfect square nearest to 48 yes it's 49 so you write 49 48 minus 49 so what is the answer yes what is the answer that should be negative 1 so you write it as negative 1 so that is the numerator of the fraction negative 1 so that goes here negative 1 divide by let's see what is the denominator now to find the denominator you do 2 times twice 7 right so 2 times of 7 will give you 14 so this become the denominator so 14 goes here so 7 plus negative 1 over 14 let's simplify this so you know plus and then negative together you get 7 minus 1 over 14 its decimal value is 0 0.071 now what is the square root of the number 48 that equals 7 minus 0 0.071 so that should be 6.92 now when I round it to one decimal so the square root of number 48 gonna be 6.9 that should be the square root of the number 48 
all right so now you can see we subtracted 7 and 0 0.071 sometimes we add it depends on the numerator value here now let's do the next question say we are finding square root of the number 79 79 is also not a perfect square let's see what is the square root of the number 79 So to find the square root of the number 79, you all know that you need to find the nearest perfect squares to 79. Let's write down the numbers, perfect squares. 8 squared is 64. And then 9 squared is 81. So which is the perfect square nearest to 79? Yes, it's 81. Right, 81 is nearest to 79. Now, what is the square root of 81? Yes, it's 9. You write 9, then you put plus, and then you have to write the fraction, the decimal, right? So to write the fraction, we need both numerator and denominator. So how do we get numerator? Yes, you need to take the same number, which is 79, and then you do minus, the nearest perfect square is 81, so 79 minus 81, which gives you negative 2. So that becomes the numerator. So negative 2 goes here. Divide by, and now to find the denominator, you do twice, 2 times of 9. So whatever number we wrote at the beginning, you write the same number, 2 times of 9. That gives you 18. So this is the denominator. So 18 is the denominator. So you write 18 here. Now let's calculate what is its value. So you get 9 plus of negative, so that become minus 2 divided by 18. So that should be 0 0.11. Now, what is the square root of the number 79? That equals 9 minus 0 0.11. That should be approximately 8.89. And when I round it to one decimal, so what is the square root of 79? Yes, that should be 8.9. So the square root of this non-perfect square is 8.9. All right. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, drop a comment below and let me know your thoughts. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you never miss out on more amazing math shortcuts.